is sarcastic. This is sarcastic. What's up, y'all? <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of the Tequila and Champagne Podcast. Me, favorite host, Shay Ron, and my co-host, Pablo. Say what's up, Tom? Hey, this is your boy, Pablo, a.k.a. Pod's Gift, a.k.a. The Pod Boss, a.k.a. I am sitting across from a half-naked lady here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with one take, Shay. You know, she got the street going. I'm so proud of her. But, yo, what's going on, everybody? <laughs> But she really is naked, y'all. So check the YouTube out. She's just really sitting here ass naked in front of me. Like, it's cool, but it's all right. <laughs> Eating oranges. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really, though. Um, but it, it damn sure looked like it. It damn told you it looked like it. <laughs> <laughs> what you want um, What you want to focus on today? Um. <sighs> uh, white folks, white folking. <laughs> hey, that's every day. Yeah, yeah, you know they don't want us to get the the needles and the shots and all that other good stuff. They do or they don't. Some people do, some people don't. Um, and when you tell people who don't have the shot to do something, they want to get physical with niggas. So, yeah, cool. yeah, you ain't seen the videos. They be in stores like I'm not. I'm not doing none of that. I'm punching niggas in the face. Oh, yeah, the 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 anti-maskers. Yeah, they yeah. Say, and they say I'm not getting a shot. I'm like fuck it, we here. I mean, how you feel about that? Oh uh, well, I'm I'm vaxxed. Uh, you know, I didn't do it to just do it. My my job said I had to, or I couldn't report back to work. Okay. Um, it wasn't that bad, you know. Uh, I got real sleepy. For like two days, and that was it for the most part. Um, but it's more of a pacifier in my in my eyes. Like it's not curing anything, but yeah. it, it gives people peace of mind. So I don't see why people just don't get the fucking shot. You know, they're not putting any chip in you. They're not doing none of that extra shit. I don't know why you keep smiling? Because you got to say some real off the wall shit. <laughs> No, you sound vaccinated. Yeah. Yeah, I'm back. Hey, I'm vaccinated. Hey, but you know, yeah. but I, you don't have to. But if they tell you you have to do it, you know, like unless you got another job lined up somewhere, then or you working for yourself, take the get the fuck shot. It don't it don't take much. So. <laughs> yeah. So no. <laughs> uh. <laughs> First of all, I don't like being told what to do. I, I hear you. And this okay. is not the first time a naked lady told me no to people. Just let you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have nothing against anybody that, you know, is vaccinated or do want mm-hmm. to get or thinking about getting it or whatever. Like, you know, do what you want to do. Um, Because I'm going to do what I want to do as well. But I just, I mean, it's a preference. Just like getting a flu shot. Mm-hmm. It's a it's a preference. Like y'all wasn't coming down hard on nobody about a flu shot like this. Like right. Like, like chill out. If people want to get vaccinated, let them do it. What what disturbs me? Oh Lord. Is you know what you are and are not allowed to do. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Being vaccinated, unvaccinated. It just remind me of segregation and whatnot. And I you know that's the part that I'm just not feeling. I can understand like it's a pandemic and. Y'all want people to get vaccinated, but at the same time, like, yo, your vaccination not really doing nothing. It's not. It's not doing nothing. So for the people that are vaccinated and know uh, that it's not doing nothing, like, y'all don't have to come down so hard on the people that's not trying to get the shot. That's fair. Um, And also, for those who aren't vaccinated, can you gotta tell us that we're going to die and we're going to lose our arms and shit. You know, it's possible. We got the shot. it's possible, but you know, y'all can slip and fall in the shower without hey, even being vaccinated. I ain't old enough for that yet, so <laughs> <laughs> I ain't worried about that yet. <laughs> you know, it, it reminds me of uh, when I was little and my mom had me go, we had to get shots before you go to school. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the difference between them saying your kid can't come to school without these shots? 
and or you can't get on this plane without this shot. Like, what's the difference? Because they're telling Shay that she can't get on the fucking plane. Well, I'm gonna get on that plane, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> one way or another, is your captain speaking? No, um, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I understand where you're coming from. Uh huh. I definitely do because you know it's some jobs where you got to get a the TB or you know yeah. whatever whatever. I understand that shit. I hated that TB shit. Yeah, I do too. Um, yeah. I I personally okay, not speaking for nobody but myself. Like I have finally come to a point in my life where I have a choice when it mm. comes to getting a shot. So it's just like, yeah, I'm gonna choose now. And I honestly don't even get sick like that because I've been shot up with so much shit. Thank you, U.S. Army. Mm -hmm. Sam, my nigga. Hey, okay, we're talking malaria, smallpox, anthrax, like, you name it. You know what I'm saying? And we used to take our flu shots up the nose. So, Mm -hmm. (laughs) uh, yeah, I finally got a twist wrong. You know what I'm saying? And I don't don't fucking want to. I'm I'm not in the mood. I'm just not in the mood. But I don't have nothing against, you know, people that do, people that don't. It's, you know, your prerogative, you know, do what you want to do. But I just okay. think as a whole, like, goddamn, government, like, chill out. <laughs> yeah, they are. They're definitely making it hard for people who are not getting the shots. Like, yeah. you can't go to sporting events. Some niggas talking about you got to show the card to go just in a building somewhere. My card. <laughs> Like, where the fuck is HIP? Like, you know That's what I'm saying? Valid. But we, we detach from the, you know, World Health Organization. All of a sudden, HIP ain't got our backs no more. Like, HIP, where the fuck you at? Y'all, don't fuck y'all, y'all supposed to be the main ones to be like, uh-uh, first of all, what they do with their body is their business, period. Mm-hmm. Like, not anymore. No, not anymore. My card is fucked up. Like, if I pull my card out, you'd be like, nigga, what the fuck that say? Like, my shit is fu- You can't even tell that it's a goddamn uh, backs card. So... Um, I still got my vaccination card from the yes. My mom has mine from school. That shit looks ridiculous. Like it is ridiculous. (laughs) You'd be surprised how many times I got a fucking TB shot. Like I don't know nobody with tuberculosis. I'll tell you that shit right now. (laughs) Ain't never met nobody with tuberculosis. (laughs) Um, but yeah, um, thanks, but no thanks. But yeah, I'm I'm cool on it. (laughs) And if you don't get it, you all right, you know. It's not gonna last forever. Yeah, my arm fall off. I can still hug a nigga with one arm. It's good. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Just make sure it's my right arm, you know, because I got things to do with my right arm, you know, so uh, make sure my shit tight, you know, that's all. <laughs> uh, wow. I uh, applaud your optimism. Okay. Hey, it's a bit. It's a no. It's a no for me. Well, I already anything, got it. Anything, so... And oh, and another thing is, we gotta get another one. Like I think mine's coming up next month. Like my booster shot. Oh, a booster shot! I thought you were talking about the third uh, COVID <laughs> shot. I know you read about that. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Yeah, I'm just gonna get the booster shot and keep Booster we'll that shit don't fucking work. Okay, but <laughs> see, I'm if I was talking about this, I would, I would pull the doctor on. I got, I, I got a doctor friend. He, that's all he does. He just specializes in in COVID shots right now. So that's all he does. I don't uh, think I don't think my ego can take that. He's the reason why I cut my beard the first time. Cause he said COVID can lie, lay in my beard when I had the big beard, so that's why I cut the beard the first time. Uh, mm-hmm. And then you know, everybody else said you don't grow that shit back. <laughs> well, uh, thanks to the VA healthcare system, I don't necessarily trust doctors, so he can say whatever he want to say. Okay, if I want to leave my coochie hairs, I'll leave my coochie hairs because that's what it is. He did say you can wear panties on your face as a mask, but you got to put like a, a, a filter in front of it. Why the fuck would you do that? Because some people were doing that. That was, that was one of the I, things. What? Explain. How, how does that work? Explain. So Where? you get the thong, right? Uh-huh. And then you put the front part on your mouth. So, so so the thin part goes right here exactly just like that. Mm-hmm. That's what folks who wear draws. That's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Um, and we don't recommend that. Not at all. Okay. Yeah. And it's people who wear two masks. 
They yeah. fold it, put one on top and one on bottom so they can eat. So they don't have to take their mask off. That's stupid. Exactly. That's stupid. Mm-hmm. Your mask dirty. That's stupid. Exactly. <laughs> but in, enjoy having fun because it wasn't nothing else to do. Um. So, yeah. And they're about to shut the world down again anyway, so it don't matter. I hope so. I hope so. Yep, I'm telling you why. Because so people can I catch up like, on our episodes. I have anxiety about meeting, you know what I'm saying, like with my clients face-to-face. Since I haven't done nothing face-to-face like in a long time as far as, you know, mm-hmm. therapy and going to class, like now I'm just like, oh, until meet me on Zoom. <laughs> hey, yeah. Yeah. I, I get it. I totally get it. Um, yeah, a couple of my friends, they're scared to go back to work. Like their 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 jobs are telling them if they don't shut down soon, it's gonna happen. They're gonna pull them back into work. They haven't been to work all year long. So yeah, it's definitely a thing. Okay. I'm around kids all day, so it don't bother me now. I feel oh. like if I, if I ain't die yet, I'm good. The kids are nasty. <laughs> It's a fucking nasty. It's a nasty. So this is what I was gonna ask you. Speaking of nasty ass fucking kids, oh, um, shit. <laughs> my kid did something. No. Oh, yeah. okay. I was just gonna make sure. No. I was. I was just gonna ask. Um, like, how often do you shower? Don't do that. Let's I, do I, that. I, I seen that. I'm seeing them post. I seen them post. Don't do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Are you like a twice um, a week or? So, in the hot months, because I'm I'm a bigger dude, um, it's definitely a, a double. I do a double. Um, in the colder months, not so much. So it's probably like probably once a day, yeah. every other day if it, if if it, if it's a must. So, but yeah, definitely in the hot months. Yeah, we 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 doubling up. Sometimes tripling, depending on what I'm doing that day. Man, you fucking right. Because as soon as I sweat, I'll be like, all right, I got to take a shower. Okay. Mm-hmm. Went to the stove, come back, I'm going to take a shower. Yeah. Because you mm-hmm. just feel nasty as yeah. hell. You just feel nasty as fuck. But, yeah. I mean, I'm very clean. I shower every day. But during the pandemic, like, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I definitely, you know, when it first started, I definitely, like, parlayed in the funk. You okay. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm like, damn. Mm-hmm. You know, ain't nothing at the stove. <laughs> ain't nowhere to go. I ain't went no. I didn't go nowhere today. Yeah, still good on that shower from yesterday. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah, everybody, everybody's to, schedule like, fucked up off of that pandemic. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I'm 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 going to wash my ass. You know what I'm saying? The only people that I don't have something to say to, maybe that ain't washed their ass in a couple of days, is those that are like going through major depression. I'm a I'm a I'm a I have to give you that. You know what I'm saying? I understand that thought process and not want to get out the bed, no energy to do nothing. You ain't cleaned up, you ain't shower, you ain't brush your teeth. Like I will I will give y'all that. Okay. But for the motherfuckers that's just like nah like I'm a I just shower like once a week or when I see like dirt. What? <laughs> Yo that that depression funk ain't, ain't nothing to play with. <laughs> Yeah, it's time to shave. Yeah, yeah that depression comes. <laughs> Good gracious. <laughs> so you understand? Yeah, okay. totally, yeah. totally, totally, totally. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, the, no, those celebrities nasty. Yeah, yeah, niggas, yeah. yeah. Watch y'all fucking kids, man. Anyway, yeah. um, I still look naked. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I try to. <laughs> I tried to pull my shirt up and it didn't work. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, are you all glistening too and shit? No. Nah, yo. I'm hey. saying I got on that. Let that mango. Hey, go get you uh post your bottle of that, you know. It's on Etsy, you know what I mean? Or just DM me. You know what it is. You know, I I'll get it out to you fast and promptly. Um <laughs> What was hey, you gonna say? Hey YouTube, do not demonetize us. She does have clothes on, okay? I do. I, I, I definitely <laughs> it, do. Definitely it just looks like on. it, okay? <laughs> she just glistening, and it, it, it's all right. So there's no nipples showing. No, yeah. damn! I feel like I gotta stand up. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't gonna help at all. <laughs> it don't matter how far I lean back; it's still no. Right. At, oh. <laughs> 
Yeah, do not stand up. The, the, the niggas going slow motion that shit, show your curves off, and we going to be on somebody else's channel. No, no, don't do that. All right, listen, I'm not looking to be harassed, okay? <laughs> Unless y'all pay me. Right? Um, speaking of harass, look at you mm-hmm. with the segues. So oh, proud you of you. Who know, knows? Um, <laughs> I had to put that in there. <laughs> so we was talking on Sarcarigus Sunday. Yeah. Um, Shout out to y'all. <laughs> You know what I mean? Um, you can check us out on YouTube. You know, we have a, a playlist for that. Uh, Shay's not on there. Sh- I promise <laughs> I'll be wanting to show up. But I'll wake up and it'll be like 10.25 and I'll be like... Mm. But at 10.25, we literally just started. Like, because we have a whole real meeting before we start. So at 10.25, we are... I didn't know that. Yeah, I, I give everybody the updates of what happened during the week. So at 10.25, yeah. we're just so... So that's what I should tell you. Can you join us at 10.30? Let me set an alarm right fucking now. Okay. Okay, Golly. okay yes. So um, we were talking about, I had made a comment about, you know, catcalling. Catcalling. Yeah, okay. like, you know what I mean? And then I, I mean, I also, I said, I said, ask Megan. I was like, hey, when you like walking down the street and you got like some leggings on and the dude's out the car like, yo, hey, hey, black leggings, looking good <laughs> over there. How you doing? <laughs> like, how do you feel about that? And she says she welcomes that that attention, that cat calling. Okay. And then I asked Kayla the same question, and she said, "I don't know the fuck she talked about. You better shut the fuck up talking to me like that." I know that's motherfucking right, <laughs> Kayla. Okay, baby, I do not hear you. I do not. I do not hear. Listen, if you don't come to me like respectfully, like I. You already know. I will keep walking if somebody calling my fucking name. Okay, like it, uh, uh-uh. no. Like hey, black dress. leggings. Like no, like call me queen, my nigga. Like no. <laughs> like hey, no. blue dress, looking good in that sundress, girl. Uh, uh-uh. uh, I don't no. hear none of that. No, that's the same shit you hear standing in line at the club. Like, uh, uh-uh. mm-hmm. no, I don't, I don't turn my head for none of that. No. It does not excite me. <laughs> so, how do you feel about well? But I get it. I get where Megan come from. Like, it okay. feels, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. it feels good to be noticed if that's right. how she's taking it. You know what I'm saying? Just a little attention. Um, and then, of course, you don't have to give nothing back either. You can just right. eat up and go on about your day. Exactly. So I, I, I get it. I just don't care for it. You know? Okay. So, <laughs> this caused an argument on Sarkarian Sunday. This is why I wish I you'd be on it sometimes. Wow. So, yeah. I was like, if a man... Or a woman, because you know it's a mixed company. I say, if they buy you a drink, do you owe them a conversation? That's all I said. Like, do you owe them a conversation if they bought you a drink? So, like, like, if I walk up to you or I send a drink over to you, can we have a conversation? Or you just going to take the drink and then go about your business? You're asking me... Or I'm, I'm was putting, you got to I'm, give an answer I'm, for nope, what I'm happened putting, on Sunday? Oh, no, it was an argument. Um, okay. yeah. Some people said yes. Some people said no. Uh, Kayla said niggas is weird for sending over drinks in 2021. You know, it was it was, it was a bunch of mixed answers. And then you know, the new guys uh, mentioned Mac was like, yeah. "Why niggas got to be weird because we sending over drinks?" You know, it was a whole thing. So I understand. I understand where where they coming from because you know what I'm saying. It's just it's an old school thing. That's what know? I said. I said generational. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's just an old school thing because I mean, there there's different ways to get people's attention. You know what I'm saying? It's just evolved over the years. But mm-hmm. um, you know, a guy can think he's doing the right thing by doing that. Like, let me send this girl a drink. I see she's sipping on Sex on the Beach. Let me send her one over, so they can be like, "Oh, hey," you can be like, "Oh, hey," and start a conversation, whatever. But uh, you can't send me none. <laughs> <laughs> You can't send me none that I ain't seen pulled up. If you send me something, it better be the whole bottle still sealed. But yeah, you can't send me nothing. I don't uh-huh. trust any fucking body. So no, you can't. You can't send me no drink. You might pill guys be mean for all I fucking know. Be talking to me all motherfucking night. That's another thing. Mm-hmm. If I just walk in to this bar or to this club, right, and you, I'm ordering a drink and you pay for my drink or you get me a drink or whatever and we sit there chit chat. I'm not about to sit there with you the whole time because I didn't come to this motherfucker for you. No, not, I just had a conversation. I mean, yeah, like it may, it may. I'm, I don't know what you want as far okay. as 
conversation or how long you want that conversation. But I literally like, <laughs> you know, I was not, I don't know, I don't think about you. I don't know. I don't go to the club and meet niggas. So maybe that's why I'm just like, please don't talk to me. Um, I don't think I'm better than nothing. I just don't have the time to give out all this good, positive, amazing ass, dope ass, fresh energy yeah. to some. That's that naked energy right there. For sucking ass niggas that don't really want shit but pussy from me. So, yeah. I'm, um, yeah. Very now, true. Yeah. yeah. Um, Pooch said the one th- he the, a girl got him a drink one time mm-hmm. and she drugged him so he's you know he's kind of weary about people getting them drinks yeah so, yeah i totally I understand to somebody i know and they yeah. got into a fucked up ass car accident almost mm-hmm. died. so yeah i i do not i watched too many lifetime movies <laughs> but you okay. know I'm, I'm from that old school era you know i'm sitting at the bar i respect it yeah, i'm watching you know what i mean like i'm not just like but I would know that, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, given your age, like, see, mm-hmm. like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know that, you right. know what I mean? But I understand where she was coming from, saying like, it's you know, it's 2021, like, nigga, that's weird, because <laughs> you just, you just don't understand that kind of, you know, those kind of mannerisms, right? Just don't nobody do that no more. So, they don't. yeah, unless okay. they try to take advantage and all like that. Now, if you were to take the drink. Hmm. Let's say the brother is less attractive than probably from a girl if I took the drink. Okay. Let's say yeah. the, the woman is less attractive than normal. You know, mm-hmm. she got a little mustache, she got a mole with the hair popping out of it. You know what I mean? Okay. Are you still taking the drink? What else she look like? Because you talk about easy. You talk, oh, okay. I mean, listen, yeah, I'll take the I'm a friendly person when it comes to girls. You know what I'm saying? I'm sweet on the ladies. The lady's sweet on me. Um, <laughs> Sound like a whole pimp right there. I know. <laughs> but, uh, but, you know, um, I talk I, I talk to girls. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, that's just easy. That's easy conversation. I talk to random girls in the bathroom. I exchange Instagram with, with random bitches all the fucking time that I know I'll never speak to. Like, mm-hmm. I just, I mean, girls is girls is cool. I'll take the drink. What's up, Molly? What's up, Mo? <laughs> but am I interested? I don't know. I don't know what else you look like. Because those is easy fixes. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We can squeeze that hair out that mo. We can shave that mustache. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, SpongeBob, like, you know, what's your frame like? Can we work out together? Like, true. You know, that's why I'm not like too heavy on looks because. Mm-hmm. Things can easily, easily be fit. Like, just yeah. easy. Listen to the last episode. You, you know, a few tweaks. Uh, you know, know what, what I mean? A penile impact. Hey. And <laughs> pumps later, you, you in there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> I'm working on my pump it, pump it, pump it, pump it, pick up. Oh, okay. no. So, um, some fellas believe that. You know, the difference between yes and no for a woman is the attraction to the person that's approaching them. Okay. Yeah. You, you feel that way too? I understand that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, like if say you're in a work environment and, you know, ugly Charles come over and try to talk to you. I'm like, oh no, nigga. But, you know, Charles, you know what I mean? Charles, Charles but, listen. Charles, listen, let me tell you something about me, Charles, and I hope you tell your fucking friends, too, okay? Uh, I do not fuck with people that I work with. I, I will never do that. I will never, ever, ever fucking do that. So go tell your friends, Charles. Mm-hmm. Yes, unless you saying hello to Shay, say the fuck out my face. See what I'm saying? Out my way, like, or be cool with me. Just be cool. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm a cool person. Just be cool with me, but don't don't try to fuck me and you work with me. Right. And then, no. you know, cool Mike come over. What's up, cool Mike? You know what I mean? It's, it's all hey. smiles. And ugly Charles, like, yo, why she smile at this nigga? I but... smile at, the thing is, is that I do smile at ugly Charles. Okay. Ugly Charles take my motherfucking smile for something else. Okay. <laughs> which, which, which puts the fuel to the motherfucking fire and thinking that we can date. You're upset because I won't date you. And now you see me smiling at somebody else and you feel some type of way, but I'm not dating them either. You can't take the smile and go on about your day. So so people really think that way. Listen, 
Yes, people really fucking think that way. No, because Pooch said that. Pooch said if a woman is like super nice to him or super like, hey. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like he's saying yeah. they want to fuck him. I was like, yeah, that's not that. Yeah, that's what, I, yes, I, I do remember that. <laughs> like, Nigga, is you serious? And he was like, <laughs> so a lot of people think that way. It makes sense for, for, for art. It does. Mm. Um, but no, no, that's not. That's not it. Because I don't hate any fucking body. That's just genuine, you know what I'm saying? Hey. Right. You I'm know, excited to see you. What's up? And, you know, moving around so much with my mom, like, all of her co-workers was like, hey, you know what I mean? Like, they ain't trying to fuck her son because they're saying hey to him. They're just like, hey, tell your mama said hi. And I'm like, yeah, okay. this is okay. some friendly <laughs> shit. I, I know you because I know your mama. Right. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> Oh shit! I don't know what kind of again. Um, you know what? You might want to be naked, nigga. I'm just... Oh me? <laughs> yeah. You. you keep fucking with it. You might want to go ahead. Just you can kind of see it. No. Okay. No. Um, no, you can't. <laughs> so... <laughs> oh well. But, but yeah, uh, that's crazy. Know, okay. Why you take that as like harassment? Yeah, some people do. Some people say Charles is harassing them, but Mike isn't because Mike is attractive. Okay. Charles is fucking insecure. And mm-hmm. I wouldn't take it as harassment unless he unless Charles did something. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Coming okay. up to me, you know, saying hello, and I'm like, hey, and he like, oh, can I take you out? And I'm like, no, because I don't I don't do that. I don't date coworkers, you know. Okay. And then here comes, you know. Good looking Mike. Hey, hey, what's going on? Right. Want to go down that? What? Cross the street? Yeah, come on. I'm just kidding. See what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> now Charles in the parking lot upset. But that's not a but that's not a date. You know what I'm saying? If Charles, if Charles said, Hey, you want to come with me across the street and get some coffee? Sure, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. In, in Charles' mind, that's a date. Oh fuck. Damn. Okay. Uh, so what's let's get this out. What's a date? That's not a date. No, no. What is a date then? What is a date? Yep. What is a date to you? When I spend two hours um, putting myself together, Mm-mm, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. Um, a date is a is. I mean, going to do something okay. together, which is literally what that sounds like. Yep, uh, going across the street and get a donut, nigga. That's, that's a, not that's a fucking date. No, oh, <laughs> that's not a hey. I would like to take you such and such or Mm. somewhere whatever okay that you know are we going as friends are we going as a date it depends on the interest that's what that's what makes it a date okay so i do understand now because charles is interested in me it's gonna feel like a date to him Mm -hmm. but to me it's gonna be you know we walk we work is right here coffee shop right here we just grabbing coffee you know that's two co-workers but you know, in the movies, they, they that's a date. Like, let me can I take you off for coffee sometime? That's 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 a phrase they say in the movies. That's not we at we talking. Are we at work still? Like, what setting are we in? Yeah, you, only time you see Charles is at work. Exactly. So come on, Charles, we're going across the street to get coffee. Okay, and come back. Like that's that's a date. But if Charles don't ever see you anywhere else, right? He can't email you because that's that's against you know company policy. So he has to say, "Hey, Shay." You know, can we go across the street and get a cup of coffee? Oh, if he says that, I'll, I mean, I'll still be like, okay, what's like, what's wrong? Like, I like, what you want to talk about, Charlie? Like, what happened? And then when, okay? he, when, when y'all over there, he gonna be like, you know, I'm feeling you. You know, I think I think we should do a little bit more. You know, okay. And I'm gonna be like, you know what, Charles? I appreciate you taking me um, away from the workspace to want to talk about this, so I can speak a little less professionally. And I'm gonna tell your motherfucking ass again. I don't date people that I fucking work with. Tell your friends. Thanks for the coffee. And I'm going to go back to my to my desk. You know? oh, tell, tell good looking Mike too. <laughs> tell, yeah. Tell everybody. Tell Mike too. Yeah. I mean, that's, I don't give a fuck what you look like. Right. I, I'm not going to do it. It's, it was, man, shit. I worked at a pain management clinic where Dr. Uber was trying to get at me. Fine too. Everybody in the office wanted him. And I was just like, no. Mm. No. <laughs> Okay. I'm not about to be that bitch. I'm not finna talk about me. I'm not finna, you know what I'm saying? And then if something goes wrong in that, you know, relationship, it's affected at the office. And I'm not doing that. Not because of me. Right. Now, I want to be the one talking about, you know, 
Aisha. She the one that did it. Like, I ain't do it. She definitely did. She definitely yeah. did. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I, I, I don't take that as harassment. Okay. So, what is harassment? To me, anything mm-hmm. that is... And not, un- don't say saying your name while you're walking down the street either. No, 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 no. Just anything <laughs> un- unwanted, unsolicited, you know, gestures. Um, I mean, it, it does include, like, the 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 cat call it if it's at mm. work um you know unwarranted touching you know what i'm saying or speaking to me in any kind of sexual manner you know shit like that you that's know that's generational too that the touching shit so like people over 40 like that's how they just communicate they don't give a fuck about covid and they like they rub your arm they touch your shoulders that's just what people that age and up do yeah you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. would you still call that harassment if, you know, that's just how they grew up? Um. Well, in a work environment, you should know what to do, mm-hmm. you know, period. So regardless of the way that you grew up, I grew up, you know, being very friendly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like hugging and, you know, like stuff like, like I'm, I'm a fucking hugger. Surprisingly, I don't like people, so don't come touch me. Yeah. Um, but... <laughs> Oh, you know, I niggas is ready. Today. Niggas like, oh shit. <laughs> I feel real hostile today. Okay, I'm here unless you got to start. Um, but yeah, I mean, if the nurse at the VA say, "Come on, honey," mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not taking that no kind of way. Okay. Yeah, because my job, the older ladies, like they rub my arm. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like they they rub my back. Why they're mm-hmm. talking to me, that's just who they are, you know. But somebody younger than me might take that as, ooh, what the fuck they doing? You know what I mean? Like, so I mean it it all depends. It, mm-hmm. I feel like it, it all depends. Like the ones that's rubbing your arm, rubbing your back, you know what I'm saying? Like checking on your shit. It just, you know, you're in this work environment where it's starting to feel like family. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like these are people that you see the most. You feel me? Um so I mean it just I feel like it's certain things. Like if that if that you know if that shoulder rub comes with the what are you doing after work? You know what I'm saying? Then it's gonna be like eh, that's harassment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, if they it's Martha, like, oh, wow. yeah, they oh, wow. me, like 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 uh, like oh uh, you know employee shit like the whole entire building. It's like of yeah, course. but we mm-hmm. going. I was like cool, and then it's like nah, is that one of the people's house? And I was like. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay, so you like me. I don't like going to people's houses. No. Um, because uh, you're never gonna get an invite to mine. Um right. but I was good and it was like, yeah, we do this every year. We just pick a different person's house and we go there. I'm like, Mm-mm. this ain't no potluck uh <laughs> house popping ass. Cause y'all ain't never come to my house. I probably would go to all y'all houses, but y'all would never come to my shit. Yeah, and but you know, that's that's the white people at the job. It's only like four or five black people. Niggas is like that. I mean, I no. Okay. They, they was like, we ain't going. There's like, yeah. bro. There's like, don't go. You know, and they don't touch me. <laughs> the black people don't touch. Like, the one older black woman, she's like, breathe. Yeah. Like she'll see me. She's like, stop. Mm-hmm. Inhale, exhale. Yeah. I'm like, man, them older black women are something, man. Especially when they're the, like the nurturing ones. Yeah. Um, I, I worked some I worked at this pain management clinic and there was this lady named Charlene and she was one of the nurses and she was older. Mm-hmm. But when I say I could go to her and get a real fucking hug, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like that part of the office, like we was we was very tight. Yeah. We That's how we are. But we was very, very, very tight. You know what I'm saying? Or yeah. like if somebody sat in somebody's lap, like it, it wasn't yeah. nothing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's just how that's reminds me of like being in the military like it don't be mm. nothing i don't want nothing from you you yeah. know what i'm saying like that's what makes it not feel like sexual sexual arrest right. you don't want nothing from me i don't want nothing from you but when you and cross like a line that's what i had like. to learn that yeah and when i was growing up because I, I i see hella niggas you know around my mom and shit i'm like yeah the fuck but she's <laughs> like those my friends yeah I'm like nigga i got friends i ain't got friends like that she's like no 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 they're my friends. Like, yeah, nigga, we done been through some shit together. Those are my, <laughs> those are my brothers. You know what I mean? Yeah. She was like, like we done been through some shit together. And you fucking right. You okay. You, you would never nowhere. understand. <laughs> they ain't going nowhere. Yeah. 
Yeah. So, but yeah, um, but yeah, like the black people, in my job, like we, we can meet in the hallway. We wouldn't give a fuck what's going on. We just stop I and mean, everybody's have a whole conversation, laughing. You know, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it's just, it's just us. Yeah. It's just what we be doing. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> something got to be funny real quick. Got to say something about something. Say what's up? How you doing? Whatever. It's just that's just how we are. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. But when the line is crossed, like you, like you know, when something makes you feel uncomfortable, that's that's when it's like okay. Can somebody give like mix? signals you know what i mean like not saying it's the person's fault for all y'all motherfuckers out there who's gonna try are to do just, that are shit. you only talking about in a work environment you just talking about like work environment like in the club like anything like can they just give like a mixed signal you know what i mean like i can just be chilling right mm-hmm. and a little shorty come up to me i smile i'm just a smiler that's just what i do i just what's going on like yeah. And she takes that the wrong way, like, oh, like, like I said, invite because I smile. You know what I mean? Like, is there a way to prevent that? Yeah. Don't smile. <laughs> yeah, keep your fucking lips closed. Uh shit. No, I get it though, because <laughs> I get it. You yeah, know, she blaming I the victim? I'm... I'm the victim. She blaming me. <laughs> if I smile at a nigga in the club, I know exactly what I'm doing. Okay. You know what I'm saying, but other so is that, that why women keep the, you know what I mean the straight face, so y'all can keep niggas to stop looking at y'all. No, we don't be thinking about our faces like that. Oh, okay, I, know, I, I, don't. I was I was trying to get some insight. Okay, <laughs> I'm trying to dig too deep in that. It's not okay, okay. okay. Venus. See, men don't uh, know nothing. Um, we do. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, that's that's not that's not it. That's not why girls be mean mugging at the club. Okay. No, nah, most of the time it'd be because of other women. Mm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's a whole other story. It is definitely. It's yeah. definitely a whole other story. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, what what would you take as like sexual harassment though? Um, sexual harassment. I'm friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so if somebody grabs your booty at the club, see, like, you see, cool yeah, that? see, yeah, it, it might be something extreme like that. It's gonna be like, like the smiling and the hugging. Mm-hmm. I, I'm good with that. Like, I don't think nothing of it. You know, I'm yeah. like, all right, okay, you smile. I like smiles and hugs. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, yeah. like I'm, I'm in them. Uh, I'm in the mentality of I don't believe shit until it happens. You see what I'm saying? So you can smile, you can hug, you can say we can, we can say I'm gonna fuck you. I won't believe you until we about to fuck. That's just who I am. Oh. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't believe shit. Like, I, I grew childhood trauma. You know, okay. I'm, I'm figuring that shit out in therapy. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like, like I had women like for, for years say, "Yo, I, I want to fuck you. I'm gonna suck your dick when I see you." And as soon as they yeah. see me, yeah, you know what I mean. And as soon as they see me. Mm-hmm. Hey. They shy. Yeah. You supposed I, to tear their drawers off. They didn't get the, the opener. You know what I'm saying? So you supposed to tear their drawers off. As soon off. as I do that, they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I ain't want to do all that. Wait a minute. That's now, listen. That <laughs> happens. That okay. happens. That'll make me want to fight. <laughs> it does. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know what? Okay. Yeah. And then I'll just, I won't. Um, yeah. Yep. So women. Definitely be talking hella spicy in the DMs, hella spicy on the text message, and then as soon as you get in front of them, I just want to get to know you. Niggas, niggas be doing that shit too. Um, well, first of all, okay, <laughs> we just we we're trying. Okay, we're just shooting, hoping we hit something. Mm-hmm. Some, we we waiting for that. Like, oh, she said we can come over. Like, we don't actually think shit going to work. I heard that before. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm trying to tell you, like, we'll, we'll oh, throw, I believe it now. We'll, yeah. we'll, th- we'll throw a little lie with a little truth in there, mix that some bitch up, put a little salt and some pepper on that bitch. Like, how you like it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, then one random night, because you know it's not gonna happen right away. One random night, you're like, you know what? Let me try this nigga out. Try the nigga out. <laughs> we ain't ready for it. <laughs> we fucking not ready for it. Huh? You know. That's sad. It is. Because you can't feed me the lies. <laughs> if I want to fuck you, I'm going to fuck you. See what I'm saying? 
Here's and that's a, and that's a lot of women though. A lot of women's like, if I'm telling you I want it, nigga, come get no, this. No, not even, not even, you know, tell it. I'm just saying, like, even if you like feeding me like all mm-hmm. these bullshit ass lies, please don't think I don't see through that. Okay. I am not the dummy. Okay. Oh, so, it's still so women do see through it. I don't I can't speak for other women. I only speak for myself. Um, hopefully they do when they do, but mm-hmm. I learn different. So you know. Uh, it just, I, I, <laughs> I hear the lies, you know what I'm saying? I'd be like, mm-hmm. I'll keep going along with it because I I'm going to fuck you because mm-hmm. I want to. You know what I'm saying? If I don't, if I'm not feeling it, if I don't want to fuck you, then I'm just gonna be like, no, nah, it's not working. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I guess I'm the same way. Nah, but I feel like men ought to be more honest with me so I can act accordingly. So, so you not included. A, <laughs> a lot of women can't take honesty. That's true. You know what I mean? Like a lot of women can't, can't take. Either. It's the truth. Okay. So yeah. when you say honesty, what are you talking about? Honesty. Um, okay. Listen, I didn't put a nigga out my house before, mm-hmm. okay, because I didn't know where this was going, and I had already asked, so I can act accordingly. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, if your answers don't match up with your actions, then I'm gonna just do me. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, I'm not. I'm literally not worried about you. Now you're on the team. Um, but. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I I put a nigga out my house for that for that you know wish washy ass. I don't know what his fucking personality was, but it just I don't know shit just wasn't wasn't adding up. So if you come in to see me, then that means we're fucking. Okay, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, came to see me, and he ended up falling asleep, and I was like, the fuck? And I woke that nigga up, and I put him out my house, <laughs> like what the. Like, this is not what we do. This ain't what we do. This is not what we do. I don't do uh, sleepovers with you. Like, we, like, this is not what we do here, okay? I don't give a fuck that you fucked up and you got to drive far. That don't have shit to do with me, okay? I thought you was coming over here to fuck me. And now you're asleep, okay? I don't like that. You can go. I can still be in my own space by myself not doing nothing, mm-hmm. okay? You don't have to be here. But when it comes to honesty, I told that nigga to come back. With some big, big energy. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind honesty. I feel like you got to learn something from somebody from some fucking way, and sometimes it have to be me. And I just got to say what I'm saying. But yeah, I would appreciate if if a dude is just like, listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think you look good, whatever, whatever. But I just want to fuck. I just want to fuck. Even if you hit me with the one time, it's fine with me. Like, just be honest. You know what I'm saying? Or like, hey, every time I come in town, you who I want to fuck with. You know what I'm saying? Like, just be honest so I can move accordingly. It's up to me if I want to continue on with you or not. See, that's it right there. If we get that honest with you, we don't want to lose it. But we might also. So yeah, we don't... regardless if you acted dumb, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna lose it regardless if I'm asking you a question and you can't give me a solid answer. Mm-hmm. Even that I don't know would suffice me. You know what I'm saying? I just I need to know something and that shit need to match up with your actions. That's that's it. That's all. I like to make my own choices. You just don't like being told what to do. <laughs> so yeah so yeah that's that's the thing men are greedy men are men are dumb and they let the 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 greed you know overpower you know the dumbness because they forget that they're dumb because they're greedy so if a man comes to a woman and say yo i fucks with you but you're not the only one Got we got two other ladies, you know what I mean? They're not my girl. I just fuck on them from time to time. But I want to fuck with you. You can handle that. Oh my damn, I appreciate your honesty. 
Like, I really, I really appreciate your honesty because, again, you're giving me a choice instead of lying to me, you know what I'm saying, and not giving me a choice. You feel mm-hmm. me? But it's, I mean, ultimately, it's up to me if I want to keep fucking with you. I might keep fucking with you because you're honest. Like, it depends. If I don't want a whole lot from you, if I'm not, if I don't see, you know, us being in a relationship, but I enjoy the dick, then that's that's up to me. Yeah. Yeah, so some women were like, "Did you really come in with this bullshit? Like, I'm not, I'm not sharing dick with nobody, you know." And then the man gonna be like, "Now nah, I'm fucked up because I really wanted to fuck her, but I can't because I, I was fucking honest with her." Now other people even fuck. Um, <laughs> so, I don't see you losing. <laughs> I just, I appreciate the honesty, for real. All right. Ladies, so if a man come to you and say he wants to fuck, will, will, will y'all accept that? Just, I just want to, I just want to dick you down. Leave it in the comments below. <laughs> DM me and Shay at, uh, you know, tequila sorry, dot and dot champagne dot pod. Um, give us some answers. Because I'm, I'm real curious. I'm real curious. Like I, you know, I've been out in the game for a while, so I don't know how to. I don't know how the streets are. You know, Shay used to be in them trenches, so she she knows. So, I will. But you know, I'm celibate now, so it's all good. Yeah. So you know, so let us know. But uh, yeah, that was a good talk, Shay. <laughs> <laughs> It's just all, it just, it's the feeling. You know what I'm saying? Whatever makes somebody uncomfortable. That's it. That's where you got to check that shit. And don't be afraid to check that shit. Like, don't be too nice. Don't be afraid because you're at work. If you if you're uncomfortable, say you're uncomfortable. Even if it's to that nigga or that woman or to HR. <laughs> I would go straight to HR. Um, they tell you that. They tell you that in the training. Go to HR. Don't don't try to handle yourself. But no, I'm going straight to HR. I'm documenting it. I'm telling you what time it was. What he had. Um, yeah. I'm like ugly Charles. <laughs> asked me, do you believe that shit? He asked me to go get some motherfucking coffee. <laughs> this nigga Charles know better than that shit. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with Charles? Everybody firing Charles. <laughs> I'll do that to everybody. Okay. Oh yeah, that's probably the way. You better go down and talk to Diane and shit. Diane and Counting, she want to go to fucking coffee. <laughs> Damn it. Go. No, let's go, Diane. Yeah. You going to put a shot in yours or no? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. We got any questions this week? Um, I did. Oh, shit. Look at that. I did, I did, I did. I'm looking for it. <laughs> it's just some regular ass. When some ah, when is the players' ball and can I come? <laughs> hey, so the players' ball. Um, it was going to be Easter weekend, but people got religious all of a sudden. So. Oh. Uh, Half the niggas they come on. It's Easter Sunday, and you know what? And I'm like, all right, whatever. So, <laughs> so we're shooting for the second week in May. I'm trying to get a place now. Um, best friend actually is looking at a place for us now, so we can get a, a nice little bar and opening and all that good stuff. So the second week in May, and you are more than welcome to come to uh, to Charm City. You know, we will invite you. We will hug you. We will do all that good shit. Um, Shay might put a leash on you. We don't know, but you know. <laughs> if I can, I guess. <laughs> sorry, not sorry about that. Uh, yeah. So, is it going to be like open or like you know? Is this an invite only? Um, I'm thinking, uh, sell tickets. You know, get some money back. You know, um, I know a couple of party promoters. They can probably sell it for, sell it off for us. And do it that way. Um, we do invite only. That's gonna come out of our pockets a little bit more. So, uh, 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna do tickets. So. I'm do tickets. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, that'll work. Yep, and put our name all over the place so everybody know it's us doing it. So. I want a styrofoam cup with my face on it. <laughs> I know a guy. So yeah. we, can, we can have that. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, also, by the merch, okay, the sweatshirts have definitely finally tiptoed their way to the website. And they look so good. It's like, it's hard to choose a color. Yeah. So it's like, get all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Please, get all of them. I appreciate it. No, it so. good. I know a couple people that want one, so yeah. That's dope. Um. And we got shirts too, because I know Cali get hot, so they can wear the shirts instead of the hoodies. <laughs> and Cali, you can wear that sweatshirt with some shorts and some sounds gone on about your day because don't nobody know what the weather is here. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, also um coming up soon, we're gonna do a drive for the homeless. Uh it's called what's it? SMG Cares, I think that's what we call it. So yep, we'll we'll have uh some details on that in the coming weeks. So that's coming up soon. So, okay. And do you want to do it in like one location or nope? In everybody's location. Okay, so me and Aunt can do it. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Because there's so much stuff in my car right now too. Um, mm-hmm. because you know I'll be, because I'm always handing out something. Right. Uh, but I still got like a whole bunch of toothbrushes and socks and gloves and hats and stuff like that. So nice. Yeah, I want I want y'all to do something. Megan's going to work with her cousins up in, in Canada, and then we're going to do something here. So we're all going to come together, you know, to let everybody know that we do care. So I'm doing meals. Hey, do what you got to do. Yeah. Do what you got to do. So. Okay. Oh. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, I know I was a little hostile today, but fuck a, a little. <laughs> <laughs> But fuck Charles, okay? His insecure ass. Damn, um, Charles. Yeah, just work on yourself, Charles. Somebody will want you. Um, yeah. Just not, not Shay. Just not Shay. <laughs> 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 Any unwarranted behavior, you know what I'm saying? Tell HR. And if somebody send you a drink, like, be suspicious. Be suspicious. Yeah, look at your drink. There's nothing wrong with looking at what's in your glass, you know. Yeah. Talk about who made this. Which bartender made this? You made this and how long mm-hmm. ago you put it over there? And then it was so it sent up so then it just went straight to me. Or you just made it right here. Oh, okay. Because yeah, I'm confused. Don't yeah. If a guy came to you, like you're like you sitting at the bar, right? If a guy came to you like, hey, how you doing? I want to buy you a drink. Yeah. You'll take that drink? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And give him like two minutes of conversation and then Huh? Look at that. Yeah. How long have I been in the club, too, on top of that? Wow. Yeah. Like, am I coming to the bar to grab drinks, or am I here by myself? See, there's too many details I'd be thinking about to give you a clear answer. Knowing you is you coming to the bar to grab a drink. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't go to the bar by myself. See? I should, you know what I'm saying? But I just, I don't. Okay. I don't be wanting the attention. Keep wearing that mango. You be all right. Man, mango sounds. It smells so good. I'm glistening. Listen, yes, again, you are. I do have clothes on. I want to reiterate. Not the way she was rubbing. Y'all see that, fellas? Not the way she was rubbing. <laughs> I want to sit on my shoulders. Listen, I can't even sit up. There you go. Okay, may got a glimpse. I am wearing clothes. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to let y'all go um, support SMG Gang, okay? Um, again, you don't know, like our podcast, there's so many others to listen to, for sure. Absolutely. But follow us, Tequila and Champagne Pot on Instagram. Follow me, Shay Laron, S-H-A-E underscore L-A-R-A-U-N. Follow Pods, Gift, Pablo, tell me. <laughs> So care against over everything, man. Google, yeah. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok. Maybe everywhere, bro. Let's go ahead. Don't you ain't gotta follow me. Just follow the movement because I'm there too. <laughs> follow the movement, support. Yes. Appreciate y'all for listening. And um, yeah, send us some questions, y'all. Please.
<laughs> Matter of fact, I'm asking y'all every day for some questions because I need some questions. Might as well. <laughs> All right. Well, if you're Charles, fuck you. And Damn. everybody else, have a great day. <laughs> <laughs>